Hey there, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Just want to make a quick video lesson on it's kind of hectic morning for me, uh, and some tickers to look and look out into the close. I'm probably gonna wrap up my day here and just start my weekend early. Uh, not much for me. I just pretty much met my goals for the week. I'm just gonna keep it light. Don't want to force anything. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump into this. So Vivos, only trade of the morning. Did not trade it great at all. Didn't even have great size in it. Eh, not bad. It just didn't really spike as much as I wanted. So we got this 259 breakout here. We're holding up around 2. Held yesterday. Sorry, bouncing. Um, <clears throat> so I was looking for a bounce play today. A VWAP hold to test the 259 level. over here and then ideally I would I was thinking it could get to 293 ish that's the next level I saw that it could get to not crazy volume or volumes not bad not crazy low float but still relatively low um, as you can see here we got this light volume panic in the morning held support failed to break down and then it just came back and went sideways all day above VWAP so today when it failed to break down got a little bit of a volume perk held the VWAP and that was just kind of the start of a little short squeeze except we got a fake out it did not continue it held up here for a little bit but it couldn't keep going I chased this I totally missed this in the 230s by the time I saw this um, it was in the 250s here, but we got a little dip to the 240s. Got in at 244, just a thousand shares, nothing crazy. A few minutes later, we get a quick perk, and then I get out at 265. Very lucky. Market order right near the highs. Could have easily got me out in the high 250s. It was kind of moving quick, so. 244 to 265, almost 10%, not quite. But I saw this thing was getting vertical, volume was starting to kind of get exhausted. It was just outdoing itself, couldn't really maintain that. And it got choppy. So I was already out, but this is good indication that it's not really going to hold. But here we are, still kind of making a higher low here. We do have this little downtrend. We also have decent uptrend here, but it is below VWAP, so not too eager about this getting higher unless it gets to at least 250 here. Makes a VWAP proclaim, climbs a little higher, breaks 259. We get a fake out to 280s, maybe. So we'll see what happens. Or it could take off. It is Friday. Any low floater, or you know. As long as there's volume, it doesn't have to be low flow. Just as long as it's rotating it or about to rotate it, there's high demand. That's all that matters. It could squeeze all these shorts that are trapped in here, shorting it against the 259, 260 resistance level. Probably using the 280s here as another place to add. I'm trying to think like a short seller. Um, so setting up my long trade. If this Fails to break down here, gets back above VWAP. I think we'll get a quick perk before it dies, just like that's wherever that is yesterday. Uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, so another play here. BON. Quick move in the morning, but then it just went sideways, and now it looks like we're tanking. Low float, so anything could happen considering it's still early as long as it holds up and it breaks shorts expectations. So this is a potential move. If it comes back, makes a VWAP play, high a day break, I think this could touch five. Maybe mid fives. But like I'm saying, I'm taking my quick snipes. I failed to do that with Dats yesterday. Did it the first trade, second trade. Just failed to lock in my gains and regretted that. So as you can see with my trade with Vivos, it was quick, 244, 265. Take your snipes. Um, better have taken it than ending up taking a loss here, or maybe a smaller win. 
So, especially in this market, less volume, less opportunities. Just got to take your quick gains into the spikes when you got them. So, that's kind of it. SVFD, that was one I also missed in the morning. Beautiful VWAP play to try and get back to six and mid sixes here. But decent 10%. You're getting in below fives, 520, 530 here. You got a quick little 10%. But, you know, you got to be quick. Don't be waiting around to see if it holds up and heads higher. Set your uh, sell order at the price you want at 10%. And once it gets there, it'll just get you out. If it heads higher, beautiful. But we're just locking in gains here. Uh, went over bond. Okay. So, yeah, not a whole ton. Just wanted to go over a couple plays. Wave. Decent little breakout. Working on volume here. Low volume though. It's not my favorite at all. G5 here. Bounce play. Looking weak right now. But this is a potential V wall play. If this comes back, fails to break down. I can see a test of the mid ones. Definitely low float. Almost doing half the float. And it's only 940%. Or I'll just call it 1240. It's got some time to possibly come back. But yeah, right now, nothing really great going on. Vivos might be the best play. Not this one. I thought SB, FD, or is it F? I'm all over the place. This had a better spike, but this one here is holding up <clears throat> compared to the other one, kinda. So if this thing could come back, it could potentially scare shorts out on a Friday. So yeah, this probably will be my main watch, but I'm not even gonna watch it. So if anyone watches this, you got an alert here for Vivos reclaiming VWAP to at least retest um, day high, but for sure give a little fake out. So, getting around 250, 254 ish, somewhere in that range. And then take quick 20, 25 cents into the 270s, 280s. So, yep, I'll just call it there. Not much going on today, kind of boring. So, I'm gonna wrap it up early. And I hope this helps anyone out.